inspiration comes from the inside inspiration comes from within my intention What you mean with only words? Cause it's hard to explain, and it's hard to define. It's indescribable, but it's something. Inspiration comes from intention Inspiration comes from within Thank you. Thank you. When I was 22 years old, I was living in an RV that I didn't own, parked outside of a house that wasn't mine, eating food that I didn't buy. And as I sat on the beer-stained couch and looked around at my surroundings, I realized I'd completely lost my identity. Up till that point, I was living the life of my dreams. I had my own band. There were four of us at the time. Wit and Jeff were the guitarists. Patrick was a drummer who'd moved all the way from Phoenix to join the band. And I was the singer and bassist. And for five years, we led the lives they tell stories about. We toured the country. We uh, played in front of crowds of people and heard our music sang back to us. I'd seen my music move people directly. And it was wonderful. But unfortunately, as time passed, and as often happens, the thrill faded. And quite suddenly, we broke up. And I remember sitting on that couch in the RV thinking, who am I now? The band had defined me. So suddenly, I had a decision to make. Do I continue with music, keep shooting for the moon, and um, start another band, maybe start over? Or do I bite the bullet, go back to school, get a real job, the safe bet? Well, fortunately for me, I chose college um, because it's exactly what I needed. I moved from New Jersey to Santa Barbara. Um, and yeah, <laughs> and I went to college and uh, I went to UCSB and, and I had all of my needs taken care of. All I had to do was go to class and write music. And I started writing music for the love of it. I started writing for myself rather than for an audience. And I noticed something, my music began to change it began to become more genuine. Moreover, I found myself becoming more genuine, authentic, perhaps. And what I mean by that is I started to disassociate with the title of band frontman and started to become the man that I actually am. Dan. <laughs> A man. <laughs> and this was a significant shift 
in uh, everything that I was creating and how I was feeling. So two realizations stem from this. One, the drive for self-actualization is a privilege, one to be grateful for. And two, music is a fantastic tool to help achieve it. So let me start by explaining what I mean by self-actualization. Well, I didn't make this term up. Um, psychologist Abraham Maslow coined the term when he created the hierarchy of needs um, in order to explain our motivations as people, the reasons that we do the things that we do. And he put the basics at the bottom, uh, survival stuff, you know, you need food, water, shelter, safety. And next, there's psychological needs, esteem, love, prestige, success. And this is where a lot of people get stuck. This is what society tends to reward the most. And then at the top is self-actualization, achieving your full potential becoming the person that you truly are. Your virtues and morality solidified, your talents and passions evident and honed. And a self-fulfillment and confidence in who you are that's present regardless of what's going on outside. So why is music so great? Why is music such a great tool for this? Well, music is the great connector. When a choir sings together, their heartbeats begin to synchronize. When two singers harmonize together, their brain waves begin to align. When you're in a crowd of a thousand people watching a band at a climactic moment, you may have everybody just scream in elation all at once. It's a connection of consciousness. Music is also a gateway into your mind. When a child wants to learn the presidents of the United States, they put it to a song. Similarly, when a lyricist is writing about his or her own morality and virtues, it becomes a powerful form of self-talk it's like a supercharged journal. It becomes something that you know about yourself. You become your lyrics, for better or for worse. Hopefully for better. So what else is there? Well, there's melody, and melody describes the stuff that the lyrics can't. Melody describes the intangible. It describes emotion in a way that you may not be able to explain with just words alone. It adds subcontext to the already meaningful lyrics that can make it deeper, more profound. And Everything, every living thing responds to this. Plants have been shown to respond to music. They grow bigger with more biomass. Animals, you can see directly responding to music. You can actually watch them enjoy music. And what are we but complex animals? We all know that we love music. It's the one yes that you can get from anybody, do you like music? Who says no to that? Um, but we've evolved to process this. Both hemispheres of our brain light up. We react physically. You may have goosebumps. Or the hair on your arms may stand up on end. You may have a shiver down your spine. Or you may just cry out, just stoked. <laughs> That's the power that's, that's in music. Nikola Tesla once said, if you want to know the secrets of the universe, think in terms 
of energy, frequency, and vibration. Einstein elaborated and said, what we think of as matter is simply energy vibrating at a frequency low enough that we can perceive it with our senses. Music is vibration. We all are. Everything is. We're all connected, just vibrating at a frequency that just happens to be within the range of the senses that we have to perceive in the three dimensions that we exist in. However, we don't exist only in three dimensions. We're multidimensional creatures living through time, moment by moment. Right now we're in this one, the most important one, the only one. And we're all sharing this moment together. We're all connected and we're all one. And by helping yourself, you're helping others. And by helping others, you're helping yourself. Maslow said that only one in a hundred people would ever reach the level of self-actualization because of the way society rewards the needs that lead up to it. But if this is all resonating with you, and if you're in this room or you're watching this, I think I can safely say that we're all at 100%. And what an honor it is to be sharing this time and space with all of you. And I think that's something we can all be grateful for. So I'm going to play you a song that I wrote during the time that I spoke about earlier, a time of great change in my life. Um, it's called Pushing Me. It goes like this. Seems I've been growing older quicker these past few days Thinking about how my past went fast And these certain feelings keep pushing me, pushing me toward a change Seems I've been thinking so much slower these past few years It seems to correlate with making and taking my tears And letting them have a say in my daily exchange with myself Some things are a style they seem perfect for a while, but things change. Circumstances, dollar signs, and romances. Don't let something small snowball and call your bluff. Blowing up a spot you never appreciated enough. It's a place with a vision of the world that you see. Don't take into account animosity. It doesn't take into account any jealousy. You aren't measured on any amount of material things, cars, and diamond rings. It's official. Most of those people have lost sight of the initial reason we were put on this planet. Experience the sights, sounds, and relationships we make along the way. Cause it's something simple, but you never should ignore it. The purpose of a life on this planet is to enjoy it. So focus on love, let the rest of it slide. It's a lottery, you've already won, take the ride. Seems I've been growing older quicker these past few days. Thinking about how my past went fast and these certain feelings keep pushing me, pushing me toward a change. Seems I've been thinking so much slower these past few years. It seems to correlate with making and taking my tears and letting them have a say in my daily exchange with myself. And there's a fine line between smoking the green and going about your life, seeing everything as a dream. Thinking everything's a joke, things are bad, take a toke. I'll find time for this problem in an hour. It's funny how our definition of time is so loose in our daily lives. Think of all the lifetimes wasted on suicide and all the war in the world and poverty. It all bothers me. But most of all, it's the lack of appreciation for this body that was given to me by God or by chance, by karma. Enhanced with romance, this heavenly dance that we call life. I've learned to appreciate it. You never get a better meal than what's already been put on your plate in. You never get a better future than the one you create. There's only so much in life that you can just leave to fate when it comes down to it. It's truth and determinism, but it's the ones who are determined to learn and grow that have risen up. Seems I've been growing older quicker these past few days. Thinking about how 
how my past went fast in these certain feelings keep pushing me, pushing me toward a change. Seems I've been thinking so much slower these past few years. It seems to correlate with making and taking my tears and letting them have a say in my daily exchange with myself. And I know I'm guilty, along with everyone. Even Gandhi, I'm sure, broke some of his rules to have some fun, but I know about the good in humanity for myself. And there are people out there, more man than me, willing to help their fellow man. Soldiers, the Coast Guard, the guys fighting wildfires with parachutes, that must be hard, but satisfying at the same time. A lifetime like mine may never get to know the kind of significance that these men find. To potentially save a life, knowing that every hour I work is an hour that's closer to how our vision of this world looked like in the beginning people living on it. Mother Nature probably didn't put us on this earth thinking we would pawn it off to convenience and then try to correct it, but writing names on ballots of the officials that we elect and it's a cause and effect relationship that we neglect and reject, realizing every day is another chance to affect the world. I've been growing older quicker these past few years Thinking about how my past went fast And these certain feelings keep pushing me Pushing me toward a change Since I've been thinking so much slower these past few years it Seems to correlate with making and taking my tears And letting them have a say My daily exchange with myself Since I've been growing older quicker these past few days Thinking about how my past went fast It's so much slower these past few years it seems to correlate with making and taking my fears And letting them have a say My daily exchange With myself With myself